Hello ladies and gentlemen, Tevron here and welcome back to Moonlighter. So right off the bat, we had a bit of a setback. That is, I lost an entire episode to technical difficulties, so I'm going to try to catch you up on what is going on. So we have gotten all of our upgraded armor. We've got the next level of the helmet, the chest plate, the steel boots. We've got our next sword. We've got our bow. The bow still needs to be improved with crystals, so we'll be trying to do that. Also, I have discovered how that the requests work by failing the first one, by sleeping through the day, unfortunately. So apparently they'll just show back up on the day that they specify to claim what they want. So we've got two things going. We need thermomagnetic engines. I think we actually have those and uh, kill these Katamari golems. So we'll do that also. Going to drop some notes from those. Also, I think I'm not going to be accepting any requests that are not in the desert dungeon. I don't feel like going back to the previous dungeons. It just seems like a waste of time to me and the amount that they're offering is just pitiful compared to what we're making now. We're making upwards of $400,000 per trip into the dungeon, so 24000 seems not very much compared to that, so we'll just take the ones that we can complete as we do our thing. But for now, we need to head back out there. Oh, also forgot to mention we are now making the next level of potions. It actually has the exact same ingredients as the previous level, just costs more to make, so that's good for us. It restores 200 HP per pop, so that's a lot more efficient for us. And I think we're to the point now that we're willing to just go through these first couple of levels as quickly as possible. Uh, get away from the slime if we can. Nope, got hit. That's fine. We've got a ton of HP, a ton of temporary HP. These first couple of levels are no big deal for us at the moment. Oh, well, can't get you. So we're going to try to delve further down to the boss level now. And I forgot to pay attention, so we're going to just jump in here and see if there's something below. There is not. I'm willing to take a couple of points of damage just to make sure that we get all of the areas. Now, there was no sparkle there that I saw. Go over here. I prefer to use the sword because it is fully upgraded and does a ton more damage than the bow. Though there are some enemies that the bow is just better on, even doing less damage. So the exit was not that way. Ooh, can go into the next dungeon. Let's see, try to avoid that. Come up here, take care of the lava spewing dude. Oh, he went over there. We'll just switch to the bow then, since we can't really get there in time before he fires again. Still don't really know what to call this one. Oh, electricity walking thingies. And both of them are electrical, so I suppose we'll just fight this one from a distance. Oh, we can break that. Really? It's the first obstacle I've seen that we can break. This thing moves in uh, weird patterns. Oh, wires. Maybe this is an advanced place since we're getting sort of technological stuff here. There we go. Let's see, he's gonna shoot at us. Oh, I pushed the switch weapons instead of the dodge. Oh well. There we go, he's taken care of. And again, I forgot to look, so let's just jump in. Nope, nothing there. And we missed some of the uh, lore in the episode, so I'll be reading the books again just to make sure that we get all of this. Oh my. I can now confirm that at the bottom of every dungeon is a giant beast. I would like to spend further time looking into whatever they may be guarding. But something else caught my eye today. Also, guarding there, I realized that I had been sort of dyslexic or whatever, where it was saying guards in highlighted text. 
And I don't know why I misparsed that and thought that some of the letters were reversed, but it's it's definitely guards and not garrods or, you know, whatever I said. I witnessed a new creature near the aforementioned Colossus. It was not concerned with me, so it wasn't a guard. Yeah, right there. It was a smaller orange variant of the green monster. The one that occasionally chases me if I spend too much time in a dungeon, which deserves more attention, honestly. Why is that thing around? But this small orange creature, it wasn't guarding any treasure and was completely oblivious of me. What was it doing down here? I don't know, but I'm interested to meet it, so we can potentially find it on the third floor. And as usual, when we're actually wanting to get through these upper levels more quickly, and we'll jump in here too, we actually end up full clearing them by accident, so this is the way down. Alright, I looked that time and didn't see a sparkle. Oh, there we go. So once we get everything fully upgraded, which may actually be this episode, honestly, with the amount of gold that we're getting, uh, we will attempt the boss. Oh, well, go for these. Uh, roll away. Get you, we're on fire. And we're on more fire. It's all right, though. We can tank it. That's why we have picked the armor that we have picked. Ooh, we can get rid of some um, curses already. I want to get rid of the curse on this. Can we place it? There we go, because these are very valuable. Also have started putting some expensive stuff in the glass cases and just letting them sit there, hoping that uh, rich folks come in. I think the potential extra profit from those is worth not actually trying to sell them as quickly as possible. Get you, come on. Dead, yes. And then we can just bow you. And we can head on down. And so we shall. Alrighty, let's go to the north. Alright, there was a lot of pits in here. I didn't see any sparklies. That does not mean that they aren't present. And is there something to kill? I don't see a pillar to interact with. Oh, it's a mimic. Should have known. The bane of my very existence. Oh, and I fell. Well, there's not a uh, thing here, but oh, it dropped some nice potions. And these potions are very expensive, so that's good. Let's see. We can go several different ways here, so let's just head this direction. Oh, we got one of these. So this is part of the uh, request that lady made. These are a little bit annoying to deal with, with the pattern that they go. Always in a straight line, but they can go any direction just randomly. I think they may actually try to come after you, but I am not for sure on that. All right, you're dead. Take care of these. Oh, I didn't see that guy over there. Take care of this wizard from a distance. Oh, walked right into the flame surrounding it. But that's fine. Also didn't manage to look for sparkles this time, so we will do our usual. Well, after I manage my inventory, that is. And just uh, jump in. Well, if I can manage to hit it. All right, nothing down there. Um, don't have room for some of this stuff. It's okay if we leave the crystals behind. Honestly, we've got so many of those in storage. This thing is also quite annoying. Ah, I hate it when we hit the walls. Well, rolled the wrong direction. Well, didn't manage to hit us. Let's get it while it's firing. There we go. See, that thing that's floating there is quite cheap, so we won't bother about picking that up. Head on back. Again, just trying to get down to level 3 now. Probably should pop a potion in a second. We'll wait till we get under 400 so that it is more efficient for us. Oh, this is way down. Never mind. Don't need to pop a potion. 
So I'm going to guess north. And let's see. Roll out of the way there. Oh, well, didn't manage to dodge either one that time, unfortunately. I really hate the randomness of the bow shots sometimes. I, stop hitting the wall. All right. There we go. Got you. And didn't manage to dodge again. And for whatever reason, we can't hit these things when they're trying to run. But they're dealt with now. So we need 10 of those notes and we've got two. Do they not stack? Or is that just the game not stacking things properly again? Yep, that is exactly what it is. Alrighty, can we get this thing dead before it hits us? Uh, apparently not. And that thing up there summons sort of temporary fire sprites. They can attack us if we're close enough that they can get to us before they die. So those panels are worth taking. Uh, these things are not really. Those are the least valuable things in this whole dungeon. Yeah, we got that. Didn't mean to pick it up, but that's fine. We'll mirror it. And head on down. So I think this is the first time that we're going to be seeing level 3. I have not yet gone down here, even in the episode that was lost. So let's get our sword out. I do expect it to be m pretty much more of the same. I didn't see any sparkles. But again, there's lots of pits here, so I can't really look everywhere at once. That guy's just zooming around. What? Oh, we're hitting a column. Some of the stuff in this particular dungeon is very, um, I, I guess I could say camouflaged. It kind of blends in. I know I've commented before that the sand sort of pitfalls there are less noticeable than the leave ones in the forest. Okay, nothing in here. Good deal. Oh, didn't mean to switch. You stay away from me, stupid slime. Ah, oh, God, I hate these things so much. There we go. He's dead. So let's deal with you. Oh, dodge ya. Stay stuck in there, please. Or not. Oh. Kite, come on, one more. Woo, gotcha. And you gave us a pittance, unfortunately. All right, can't even get to those back there, so even if there was a sparkle, we can't actually jump in there. Unless there's something we can get in the future that allows us to fly. Oh, we can uh, actually go ahead and pop our health potion. Yeah, I really need to upgrade my bow. A lot of these enemies in here are much better fought from range. And our bow is just doing so little damage at the moment. A good offense is often the best defense. And once again, did not manage to look for a sparkle, so there we go. I know that it's not super efficient for us to be losing 15 HP to look for secret rooms, but I would rather do that than miss them. Have actually encountered a, quite a few gauntlets recently, and I think I've parsed the number of chests thing. I think when you find one on the first floor, you get one chest per, per round, and on the second floor, two. I haven't yet found one on a third floor, but I'm guessing there's going to be three chests when we do. Just going to go ham on this thing. Oh, it can't hurt us from this direction? Good to know. I swear I've been hurt by those things running into me before, though. Oh, well. Either way. Oh, come back. Come back over here. Thank you. Oh, thought that was going to kill you. There we go. Alright, so this is helpful. Can send a bunch of stuff home. 
All right, also managed to get one of these magnetic engines, which is what we need for one of those quests. I actually think we probably have enough of those since they're a crafting component, but perhaps not. Uh, do need to manage our inventory a little bit. I mean, we could get a curse remover on that. Let's just get rid of the singleton there, at least to give us one space in our inventory available. We'll leave that dust just sitting there. Switch to our sword. All right, no, it's going to be bow here. Thank you for shooting in a direction that doesn't hit me. God, these things are so tanky with the bow that we have. Hopefully, this is a very profitable journey here so that we can actually get our bow upgraded. Make this a little easier for us in the future. I certainly don't want to try to tackle this boss with the bow as it is. I'm super surprised we didn't get hit there. Uh, also, all right, just had to check. The reason it's so hard for me to see those, and I don't know why I'm going this way because there's not a door over there, is because I'm often just looking for enemies so that I don't get hit immediately upon entering a room. It's kind of hard to look for everything all at once. All right, let's try north then. Oh, we got a big slime. We managed to hit it before it engulfed us, but not that time. Go ahead and heal ourselves. Ugh, dog. I hate you so much, you stinking slimes. You are the bane of my very existence. Ooh, sorry. Just really gets on my nerves. Oh, yeah, too close and we get lasered. Go over here. Oh, no. Well, they shoot. shot the wrong direction that time. Oh, got you. Okay, thank you for not shooting at me. Come on. Getcha. There we go. Whew. We do need some more of these jellies. We're running a little bit low on those for potion manufacture. We're not really getting very many curse removals here, unfortunately. All right, we'll get rid of this stuff here. It's only 500 each. Or well, that's enough to take all this, so let's do that. You went in a good slot for your curse, so guess we'll just proceed onward. Let's go to the west. All right, I did look that time, and I did not see a sparkle. That doesn't mean I didn't just miss it. Oh, thank you. Come on. Get him. There we go. Then we'll try to get you. All right. Oh, got a sinking thing. Only one enemy in here, though, so maybe we can get it. Oh, we lost our chest. That is unfortunate. We'll, we'll leave that stuff for now. And where is your pedestal? All the way up in the corner, huh? One thing is clear. These dungeons are arranged to assist in the ransacking of them. But there is a glitch in the system, an anomaly working against their design. The guards. They work autonomously without thought. They're only concerned the defense of the treasures in the dungeon, which seems in direct conflict with the dungeon's sole purpose. I'd wager whatever places the guards here is separate from what forms the dungeons. Uh, yeah, and we've got a ghost pursuing us now, unfortunately. I think we could just bug out of here and leave the portal up and the ghost would be gone upon coming back. At least that was a, our experience the last time. But we'll decide on that when it actually pops. We may be able to do a little more clearing here. Oh, no sparkle here for sure. Would like to kill both of these if we can. Oh, no, there's the ghost. We're going to get out of here. Oh, don't stun me. Don't stun me. All right, yeah, we're going to leave a portal here. So let's go into our inventory and spend 24000 on that. Yes, please. Oh, oh, no. Get in the portal. I forgot that it doesn't just take us out. I'm glad that thing didn't hit us. Ooh. Had my hands off the controller there, just waiting to teleport. All right, so we got enough thermocores this time to cover one of the quests. 
Also, we had enough. I can see them over there in the thing. So let's go ahead and just put those in there. So that is in two days. We'll make sure to have those ready for when they come back. All right, these Magnites were underpriced at 500. The fireproof cloth was a little overpriced at 1500. So let's try 1100 on this. Guessing they're pretty close to the same value. Make sure of our prices on this. So 3,000, 3,200 was overpriced. Maybe we can get 3,100. I think that's what we got on this. Yeah. And we know that 5,000 is good here, so we can almost certainly get 5,100. So we'll try that. Try 1,100 on this cloth also. See, they accepted 52 on that. We may be able to milk 53. We'll try that. They did 65. Let's try 66. 42. Let's try 43. Just trying to maximize profits. Also going to hold these notes in our inventory since we don't have the exact number that we need for that quest yet. Let's go ahead and open the door. Time to make some money. Welcome friends, we are fully stocked, lots of good stuff, hopefully we'll get some rich customers in to buy our stuff in our cases, and few thieves today because I really hate having to tackle them and then put stuff back out and reprice it. Alright, lots of people ordering, nobody really buying anything unfortunately. Probably actually should go look in our chests. Now that we've gone up to the next level of stuff and unmarked components that we don't need anymore, there may be a lot of stuff that we had stored as components that can actually be sold, so I'll check that when we have a little bit of downtime here. Right, people finally starting to buy stuff. Let's restock. All right, 3700 was a little too expensive. Let's try 35. 5200 was acceptable, so let's try 53. Seems good. We got a space over here. Let's see, 65 was good. Maybe we can get 66. We'll try that. Also, uh, I don't remember if this was in the episode that was lost or not. I also realized there was a place to place things here, so we put one of our other things out to get bigger tips. All right. Looks like stuff's just flying off the shelves now. That's what we want to see. Already up to 170 grand. Got some more places for things. So let's put you over there. And we haven't sold that other one yet. So we don't know if they're going to accept 52, but we'll mark you up as well. Or maybe we sold it at 51. Uh, let's check you just to be sure. Maybe it was slightly overpriced. No, it was 51, so we'll try 52. I don't think we have a thief in here. All right, that's slightly overpriced. We'll sell this and then go back and grab some more stuff. There you go. All right, so we did, in fact, have a lot more stuff that could be sold. Looks like we had a customer waiting. Go ahead and let these folks make their purchases. Then we will put more things out. Looks like we got 66, maybe could even get 67, so we'll give it a shot. We haven't sold any of this stuff. Flammable dust above the magnetic core, so it's like probably 125, maybe a little bit more. We'll try 225 since it's not the very bottom of the pole. All right, we'll just try 200, that seems fine. All right, 500. Maybe can get 525. We'll try that. Let's see, 3700 is a little overpriced, so 36. 53 was acceptable, so maybe we can get 54. We'll at least give it a shot. Haven't had any rich customers, unfortunately. Yeah, you're not a rich customer. You're an adventurer, which, you know, you're perfectly welcome here, but I would love to sell my 50,000 stack over there. Thank you, sir. 
Come on, folks. We're getting close to close. Need you to buy me out. Oh, there's a thief coming in. I think that's our first of the day. Been very lucky to have not gotten any more thieves than that today. Hopefully there's not a spat at the end. So that's a little overpriced, unfortunately. I'm getting ready to steal something. Got my eye on you, thief. Don't think you can get away with it. Yep. All right, so that was underpriced. That's fine. Oh, there we go. Go ahead and do this. So maybe we can get let's up it to say 400 and see what they re, how they react to that. I think this was a little overpriced. It was. So back down to 36. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoy your purchases. Might break 400 grand today. No, I think that's our last customer. All right, certainly not the best day that I've had so far, but by no means disappointing. We may have enough now to fully upgrade our bow, which is what I'm hoping for. All right, 64,000 a pop, and I think three times is the most that you can do these weapons, so we should be able to fully upgrade and still have a lot of money left over. There we go. Also, the banker has proven very hard to interact with, as if you don't come to him on the exact day he specifies, he just doesn't want to talk to you. He's like, come back in two days. So, don't know if I'm ever going to be able to make that work, but I need to go and store some stuff in our chests in here because I forgot to. Alright, so potions restocked. Hopefully the ghost is gone like it was the last time so that we can continue so that we can continue our exploration of this third floor here. Alright, I do not see the ghost icon, so that is awesome. See, there's enemies up here that we didn't manage to kill. We need to... Oh, well, it ran away. This is a very awkward layout. Oh, we can stand right here and not get hit. Awesome. Just kind of stand here, wait for it to come back. More notes. Still need six more of those things, I believe. And I don't think there was a sparkle here. All right, so this is the way to the boss. Let's go ahead and test this. All right, nope, nothing there. I think we're going to continue exploring. So enemies look like they respawned. So maybe we won't. We lost one of our armor things there. I think that's maybe going to be okay. So yeah, let's just go ahead and try the boss. See, we should get some new information here, maybe. Oh, some things are awkward to interact with. Data entry 196. These damned thieves are really efficient. The second a room is left unmanned, it is pillaged. Only our autonomous units can remain to guard our wares. So it seems like the ones leaving the notes at these healing pools are different from the ones leaving the notes at the campsites. It's like these are from the people who are setting up the guards to guard these places, while the ones at the campsites are, are, are the explorers like us who are ransacking them. Interesting. All right, got a slime over here. Slime in the upper corner, too. Let's not get hit if we can help it. That guy's going that direction. We should pro... Stop. Oh, slimy came after us. Okay, so they shouldn't be able to shoot this way since they're rolling. They have to shoot. Uh, Want to get out of the way, though. Looks like they're going back, so we can just stay away from the wall. I hate it when my arrows hit the wall. All right, these things are still quite tanky, even with the damage we're doing with the bow now. Let's see, going that way. Stop hitting the wall, stupid arrows. All right, we'll look in this chest. Um, sure. Probably go ahead and send a fragile thing home. All right, and we may just set up another portal so that we can come at this 
fully healthy, but I'm going to jump in here too because I didn't look for a sparkle. No sparkles. All right, no secret rooms here. All right, this is a little awkward. Well, you missed me. Come on, get dead. There you go. Little slimes, much more manageable than big slimes. One more. There we go. And that looks like the boss. Let's see, this is fragile, so probably should just send it home. And we'll send home the mystery thing too, I suppose. We're not really hurting for inventory space at the moment. All right, so the only thing we would gain by going back is our three shields there, which let us take three hits without taking damage. I think I'm willing to give this a shot even without that. So let's go to our bow because that's been the best for fighting bosses so far. Might not be this time. Uh, is this a giant one of those spinny things? It doesn't look like there's anything to clear out of the way like the bushes in the last one. Can we kind of skirt around and not? Nope, we cannot. Oh. Nope. It is a snake. Nope, leave me alone. Oh my god. Okay, so we can hit it anywhere and hurt it, so that's good to know. Oh, it's scattered. Oh, well, really hard to dodge this thing. Our temporary HP is already gone. We do have five potions though, so that's good. And it's quite large, so we can actually hit it pretty well without even seeing it. Oh, dodge through those. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Dodge down here. Come on now. Uh, roll. Oh, it took some hits. I think that's fine. Need to remember to use a potion here in a second. Probably ne the next hit we take will need to heal. We've almost got it halfway dead. Where are you? Oh, you're up there. Okay, good. Roll. Shoot in the correct direction, please. Oh, yep. Yeah, heal. All right, come on. Oh, I thought you were coming back down, but apparently not. Okay. All right. Just keep firing as long as we can hit you. Oh. Oh, no. That thing really keyed in on us. We're going to go ahead and pop a potion, even though we're not quite 200 down. Oh. Oh, can we hit you? Oh, we've killed one of them. Oh, nope. There it goes again. So they only hurt us when they're glowing red? Because that one definitely hit us and didn't take any HP, and we took a ton of damage there. Even though I was dodge rolling. Uh, heal, please. Where are you? Up there. Oh. Oh, we did manage to kill one. At least it seemed to pop out of existence. Alright, where are you? Oh, gotcha. Oh, we've killed all but two. Good deal. Uh Leave me alone. Stop chasing me. Uh, heal. Got one potion left. I doubt we can go into our inventory and reload from in here. Oh, just one. Ah, oh, shoot. Right, go ahead and use our last potion. Well, managed to hit you once. There we go. Can we... Gotcha! Ooh, well that one was certainly a lot harder than the Forest Guardian. Alrighty then. Ooh. Got another glowy chest. So these things should sell for like... Uh, whatever the max price in this dungeon is. I can't remember what it was. 
So Desert Histories. High Levitation Core. Some more engines. Ingots? What's you? Nausea Jottings? I mean, we want all of it. That is for certain, so we'll take it. And there's our portal back. So what is... So what is the most expensive thing in this place? 20 grand. So we can sell these for 20 grand each, or we can put them in our glass cases and try to get even more. I've been trying to sell stuff for double, but we haven't had any rich people come in to confirm that we can actually get that amount. So now we've opened up the final dungeon. Well, before we open the big massive door, anyway. One more key is all we need. Looks like Xenon is going to berate us for being successful again, as he does. Another guardian defeated. Another lock upon the fifth door open. You just refuse to listen to reason. What if you don't come back next time? I'll tell everyone I warned him, told him it was foolish. Just... Just appreciate what you will have. Just appreciate what you have, Will. You have a great shop worth being around for. I noticed a new expansion on the board with a shop that large. You can employ an assistant to help around the place. Oh, that sounds awesome. What kind of assisting can they do? The town is also allowing entry into the tech dungeon now. All right, so now we know the name of that. I'd warn you not to enter, but why start listening now? Yeah, I mean... We've done so very well not listening to you, why would we ever start? I'll be on my way. No need for an old man's rambling, I suppose. Yeah, uh, see you later, Zanan. Appreciate your concern, but really, mind your own business, you know? Alright, he said there was a new expansion on the board, but there's no exclamation. Got everyone ordered here. I mean, we could upgrade our shop. We've got the money to do that. Maybe that's what we need to do to get an assistant. It says, yeah, adds a shop assistant, extra showcases, and more decor space. We definitely want that. If we can employ some more of the decorations that we've already purchased, that would be awesome. Also, actually, probably need to go back and look at the items that we had not unlocked yet. Let's see. Yeah. Oh wait, what? Why did you have an excl exclamation on your face there? We've already ordered you. Shop level 2. Shop level 4. 250,000. We'll probably want to get that eventually. We've got all of these upgraded as high as they can go. Yeah, let's go down here and check this guy out again. Yeah. Can we get by you? Thank you. Uh, yes, we would like to impress our customers. All right. Miniature version of the Forest Guardian. Oh, another thief deterrent. Let's buy that. Yes, please. Don't really need extra time for delivery requests. Uh, another thing to increase tips. I mean, we might as well get it. They're they're not super expensive in the scheme of things. Then we've got this stuff. More tip items. Speed of visitors. Not sure I care about the speed of visitors. We'll go ahead and buy the other tip item. Don't know how much space we're going to have to put stuff up now, so might as well have as much as we can. Uh, hello, sir. Thank you for your work. Well, I appreciate you putting a lot of effort in. We certainly pay you enough for you to be doing that, so good on you. Ah, our assistant. What can you do for us? Um, hi, Will. Hi, you. 
I can sell some of your items if you want to take the day off from the shop. You can. I will take 30% of the benefits, but you will be free to battle in the dungeons. Oh. Um, not right now, I don't think. I do think I want to put some more stuff in these cases, though. So let's grab this out because it's actually not that valuable. Let's put our high, high dollar items in here. We know they're going to sell normally for 20, so I am still going to try to be super greedy and get double out of these. I don't know if we can or not. We have not yet had a rich personage come in to do that. But going forward, I may actually let her do that for us. Wonder if she knows the correct prices to price things. Would certainly take a lot of the work off. And also, where can we put decor? On each of the corners? That sounds awesome. So, extra tips. Uh, extra tips. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Here? Yeah, we can. Extra tips. Excuse me, gate. Uh, even more extra tips. And, of course... Decrease the probability of thieves. Thank you very much. Then are there extra spaces on the walls? See nothing there. Oh, we can put something here. We definitely want our thief deterrent up, so minus 50% sounds awesome to me. Can put something here. See max number of visitors, speed. Oh, Another tip thing. And patient customers. Let's get even more tips. 160%. Money's what it's all about. Was there something here that I missed? I thought I saw something pop up, but it may have been just this showcase here. Oh, looks like there's a spot here. There is. Let's, yeah, let's go ahead and increase the shop's capacity. Can make them go faster. We could over capacity. I think there's a slot over here too. There is. And yeah, get more people in. That should make them buy things faster. Let's see. Is today the day that the person's supposed to come back for their quest? Uh, no, it is tomorrow. Today is the 19th, it looks like. So we don't need to grab those things out yet. Let's go ahead and open the shop, see how much money we can get. Shop's looking really nice. Yep, selling some low value items today. Hopefully you guys like a bit of a bargain. Hoping for some rich folks to come in and buy our showcase items. Our shop is getting really huge. Wonder what the last upgrade's gonna look like. It's pretty much filling the whole screen now as it is. Alright, everything's just flying off the shelves. These folks know what they're after. They're not lollygagging around. Alright, restock there. We gotta... Oh. There you go, sir, ma'am, whoever you are. All right, restocked. Hopefully we don't have any thieves now that we... Oh, why are you pushing me around? That That's really rude. I mean, I know they say the customer is always right, but that does not give you the right to push me all over my floor. All right, a little underpriced on that sucker. That's fine. I don't really care. Those are very close to the bottom of the barrel from the desert dungeon anyway. Let's see, we haven't sold any of these. Maybe we shouldn't. I'm not certain if we still need those for crafting or not. So maybe we should leave those out. For now, anyway. Yeah, that's fine. Not gonna make as much today if we don't get any rich clients anyway, just because we didn't make a full dungeon run of it. Just went down and got the boss. All right, underpriced on that too. That is fine. There you go. 
Maybe get enough to do the last upgrade of the shop today. Seems good to me. Buy our last things. Come on, someone with a lot more money than these common folks. Come in here and buy out my showcases. Well, I guess we could sell these other things since the rich people seem to be so very rare. So these should be 20 grand a piece. As should this. There we go. Thank you very much. Come again. Got some new high dollar merchandise just put out. Might want to check that. Well, this girl knows what she wants. Thank you very much. So we definitely do have enough to get the last shop upgrade. That is awesome. Oh, those are overpriced. They came from the golem. Really? Where are you at in the scheme of things? At the bottom. So maybe you're like 18,000? Try that. It's the first time I've seen them think that it was too expensive for the same price as like the books and things from a boss. Nope, still too expensive. Oh, just a little too expensive. Still willing to pay the price. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate your business. So we haven't had any thieves at all, so our thief deterrent items seem to be working. Ooh, looks like we got a rich person. So we were slightly overpriced, but she's still willing to pay that. So we can't quite get double, it looks like, and still keep our cu customers happy. So we should probably lower that just a little bit. Let's take them all down to say 36,000. Which means we should also decrease the price on this just a little bit. Lower it to say eight. And you two to 36,000. We'll hang around. Hopefully we, s oh, there is another rich person over there. Oh, that's really overpriced. Okay, so maybe these aren't worth 20000 each? Huh. Let's go 30000 then. I'm sorry to have run you off, rich person. So maybe what she bought was worth more? Huh. Okay, well, over half a million, so still very satisfied with that. Let's lower you to 30 as well. We'll mark you down to seven. Yep, still learning here, folks. Let's go ahead and exit. Hopefully our carpenter friend will come back in the dead of night. We want to go ahead and grab our last shop upgrade, please. So now we're going to be an emporium, I suppose. I don't know if I've told you this before, handyman, but I appreciate your dedication greatly. Got another exclamation? I did not catch that first one before I pressed the button. It says something said something about Le Retilier, and then, but the people of Rhinoka have told me Moonlighter is the place to go. Oh, can I read it again? Maybe I was talking to someone behind the sign? Moonlighter is the oldest shop in Rhinoka. I've been told the family that owns it was one of the first to settle here. All right. Uh, yeah, let's look in here. All right. Decorate it to please their customers. We've got the, uh, fully upgrade, at least on the shop. 
why are you still marked with an exclamation? Does that mean you've got new stuff? I don't know. Uh, yes. Uh, th thank you. I think you meant Emporium and not Imperium, though maybe I'm just unfamiliar with that word. Let's see what she looks like. Well, that's just lovely. So we got some stuff by the door. Got some extra stuff we have to redecorate again. All right, there's all our stuff back out on the counter. The cell box is behind now. Is there a place here? Nope. Place. There's a place on the wall. Well, we want our thief deterrent. Two on the front wall again. I wish it would keep up what we already had, but that's fine. We'll put you up. Don't think we really gained any extra decoration spaces. Uh, yeah, more tips. Thank you. Up our capacity again. And yeah, that looks like it. Don't... We did not get any extra decoration spaces for this upgrade, it appears. We got a ton of chests back here now. Which is cool. Alright, just take that up. We have to reprice them since they were priced for showcases. But anyway... I think that that is going to do it for this episode. We will jump into the tech dungeon next time. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, let me know in the comments and by leaving a like below, it really does help tremendously. And of course, subscribe if you'd like to see more in the future. I have been Tevron, and until next time, friends, be excellent to each other.